Okay, welcome to this tutorial. Um, introduce myself, I'm Brian Knight from Melbourne, Australia, and I'm part of the IML uh, group. So, uh, just like everyone else is. So what I'd like to do is just go through a little bit of a, uh, I'm the sort of one of the um, how to go to guys. Um, if we, you know, this is one of the frustrations that I found at the start was that, you know, you open up and you have a chart like this, this black thing with squiggly green line, and um, it's really hard to see. And then, oh, what do you do? You do plus up here or something, and then it's got these little bar things, and where's the candles and what's the, you know, it's like it's a mess. So this, this uh, how-to is really mt4 and it doesn't matter whether it's uh on a pc or or a uh, an apple device or a mac uh, so what we're really going to do is we're going to look at changing the look of it now once you know see how i do it you can set it up exactly how you want yourself it, you know it really doesn't matter um, I, i'll do it my way you can stop the video at any point and, and follow each one of the steps if you want to stop make your changes and then come back to it uh, but this is just really to help everyone out uh, because I know my frustration. So yeah, so look, you know, this is the standard thing. You would right click on a chart, you would open a chart window, and this is what you end up with. Uh, so we want to be able to make changes, and then we'll want then what we'll do is we'll save it as a template. So and what and we'll show you what a te I'll show you what a template does. So first things first, right click and go to properties down the bottom. Okay, all right. So do that again right click down the bottom properties okay and then we're going to look at colors now here we go there is a color scheming but if you just leave it on this at the moment and these are all the different sort of things that you can that you can have down here all right so what i do straight away is i make the the background white and i make the foreground uh you basically oh you leave the foreground foreground can be can be black uh, those lines the grids can be gray that's all fine now what we're talking about here you've got four things there to to adjust if you if you want to okay so in this traditionally what happens is um, you, you have a bar going up which is normally a blue so I just pick uh, what is it? medium blue that'll do and then down would be normally like a red going down yeah uh well you pick whatever color you want but then this is the candle so a bull candle is on the top so it you would want to have it some sort of a bluey uh, let's go we could make it actually what we could do is we could make this midnight blue and we could change this one to like a a lighter blue something like still blue no let's see raw blue there we go yeah and so the blue going up and then at the top will be a darker right then this one you want this one oh, we might just change that one then to a lighter red what do we got here orange red crimson crimson might do and then we'll make this one a red red on the top there so it's darker uh, then we'll go down here stop levels red that's okay you can change these ones if you want to but you can see how it looks now yeah and then if we go over to common, you can change it to candlesticks here. So you actually got candles. And so if we go back to the colors, we'll see that. And if we go OK, and we start to now look closer, here we have the candles with the wicks. Yeah. So where they're going up and down on there, you can see the the different colors right. so that's how you can you know hopefully make it a little bit easier to see 
and you can go in or out make it less if you want to and this is where you're changing the times whether it's a one minute or a uh, 5 15 30 one hour four hour day week or month and you're just changing from one to the other so one of the things that's probably good to do is in actual fact get it to about here or somewhere yep yeah, no, probably here it's good to see um, and also, too, the other thing that's really good to have on here is what's called a, an RSI. Um, it's not repetitive strain injury. Probably if you put it here, it won't be. So if you go down here, it's under, if you look under your indicators and oscillators, uh, it's a, a, a relative strength index. So if you double click, and normally like, everything should be all right on that, and it'll actually go on to the bottom. You can also just pull that down a little bit. You don't need it as big. You want the RSI in there. And you can put other ones in here if you want to. But it, it reduces the amount of view that you have on that chart there. Because you're looking at this either below 30 or above 70. But we'll get on to more of that. So here's a basic setup that if you open a chart, if you want it to look like this or anything else you set up, then what you can do is I'll show you. Go up here to this, this little thing around here. You go to templates and you call it save templates. Now you can see I've got a number in here and I can say, look, this is a, uh, for example, this is a, you know, a ninja template. Now, you know, I could actually, if anybody wants this, we can organize this, send the, the file template and then you just load it into your templates on your MT4 and it'll actually then any charts will like that. So if I save that now, as that and then I actually go to this chart we had before and I actually then go and then I load it down here is a ninja template look what happens straight away it just puts all of those components in there and makes it look the same on the H1 and it doesn't matter I could pick you know um, British pound USD and we could open up a new chart on that and we could actually again go a ninja template bang it does that straight away as well. See what's happened? So there, uh, very simple steps. I think that's there's a lot of other indicators and things. And yes, there's a lot of other components down here in the expert advisors. But this is actually setting up the basic properties of a chart so you can visually see the difference in things um, and some of the little indicators that will uh, help you out in being able to make trading decisions. This is part one. Uh, there will be other parts. Uh, and uh, for example, part two is going to be using this template and adding in all of the quick fire components or as many as we have at the moment to create a stress free trading environment. So that you can actually put a trade on, not have to worry about so much all of the components it's already there so you don't have to create it anyway so here's the basic one um, thanks for having a listen to it and i hope this has been helpful for you remember these that we are the go-to how-to guys okay then chat later bye